Good morning, visitors. The vessel that you see arriving is the Algoma Enterprise. The Algoma Enterprise was built as the Canadian Enterprise in 1979 by the Port Weller Dry Docks in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. She measures 730 feet in length, 76 feet in width, and 46 feet in depth. measures 54 by 20 feet, and she has a maximum carrying capacity of 33,900 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Algoma Enterprise is currently owned and operated by the Algoma Central Corporation of St. Catherine's, Ontario, Canada. The Algoma Enterprise is arriving today to load petroleum coke at the Superior Midwest Energy Terminal. If you see any crew on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. The Algoma Enterprise was originally designed as a coal carrier, having been built for the ULS Corporation to move coal from Thunder Bay to power plants on the lower lakes. She was the first Canadian vessel to load American coal at the Superior Midwest Energy Terminal here in Superior in 1988. Her name was changed from the, Al from the Canadian Enterprise to the Algoma Enterprise when she and the rest of the Upper Lake Shipping Company was purchased by the Algoma Central Corporation in 2011. Once again, we have the Algoma Enterprise, built in 1979, measuring 730 feet in length, arriving today to load petroleum coke at the Superior Midwest Energy Terminal. 